Check. Morning, Mr. Pearson. Let me take that for you, sir. You must be tired. That red eye's a killer. I need to change some money. Uh, not a very good rate here, sir. I do have some sterling on me. Will 200 be enough? Sure. Can we get a paper? In the car, sir. Times Independent, USA Today, and the Herald Tribune. Can't they print the sun anymore? <laughs> He isn't Tanya, no. He's doing an airport pickup where a driver's short. Referral, sir. Tell you the truth, Parkway's been in a spot of bother. It's been very rough all round recently. We've been luckier than most. We've had a very good recession. Same all over. You know, I'm driving to JFK last night. Pull up at a stoplight. It's one of these black street dudes on the sidewalk. He's selling a camcorder. Still in its box. Factory fresh. Who wants 90 bucks for it? I'll give him 70. I think, why not? I'm going to England. Presents for everyone. This can go to some nephew I didn't know I had. I opened it up on the plane. There's a jar of peanut butter wrapped in plastic popcorn. <laughs> Unbelievable. You live over there, do you, Mr. Pearson? Yeah. Haven't been back in four years. I'm going to need a car later in the week. See the family. Have you got a card? Happy to oblige, sir. I own the company. My name's Baz Levick. Ivory Tower? Wife's idea. You get the picture, don't you, sir? We like to think of our clients cushioned in elegance, cocooned against the harsh realities of life. Oh. Tower. Concierge at the Hilton. I've got four gentlemen expecting a limousine. Oh, OK, George. I'll be right back to you. One, two, three, four, five. Affirmative, Gracie. We're heading for Olympia. Would you mind asking them what company they're from? OK, Gracie. Hold on. Hello, Norman. Morning, Grace. You've got an extra half hour, love. Your flight's delayed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quiet, muscles. It's only Norman. Mitsubishi, Grace. Precisely, Daryl. You should be taking Yamaha to Olympia. Mitsubishi should be with Grosvenor limousines halfway to Hampton Court. Oh, shit. Circle, I'll get back to you. Japanese? I should be driving Japanese, Grace. I have a natural affinity for foreign clients. You ask that prince from the Crucial Omen States I had for Wimbledon last year. Grosvenor cars, how can I help you? Cathy, it's Grace again. Can you patch me through to your man outside the Hilton, love? OK, Gracie. What you three training scheme coughed him up, then? He's not half as bad as he looks. You'll have the tyres off your wheelchair if you turn your back. <laughs> I completely forgot I have to take Nicola to the dentist. I'm never going to have time to shop and cook. Tanya, I can't talk now. I'll call you later. I just need you to pick up some things from Selfridges Food Hall. I'll make a list and fax it to the office. Tanya, I'm P.O.B. I'll talk to you later. Mwah. <sighs> All right. Ooh. All right. 
Hi, Isabella. Oh. You crazy, Raphael. Do you know that? I gotta do this thing. He tripped me. He got out of line. So you take him down. You do this. I'll not talk to you again. Same with your mother. I got my homeboys. Frida Loca. And when they all dead or doing life, who'd you turn to, huh? Stop breaking my balls in this year. Must be my office. Sorry, Natasha. Sorry, Simon. Morning, boss. Morning, Gracie. Put that on the Rolodex. We have a problem. What's this? Smoked salmon quiche feta cheese salad? Tanya's list. Look, I don't know when I'm going to have time to tool over the Selfridges. That is not the problem. Read this. Treadway, Oxlade and Warsfold. Lawyers. It's not a rock band, is it? Oh, my God. Personal liability? Damages? It's the woman Steve was driving when he had that accident. I've called him in. What about his ride? He's driving David Bowie. I've switched in with Tarquin. This is not happening. It was a minor shunt. The bodywork was only 300 quid. They're trying it on the Wallys. Give it to our insurance people. Baz. The insurance people never received our premium. Did they? That is not possible. Do you remember that week when we were juggling the cash flow and you said, hold back the insurance, pay the VAT? This wasn't that week. It was that week. Why would I do that to myself? That is always the last thing you pay. How long is that going to be there? I'm picking up David Bowie. Mr. Bowie's not registered here. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Oh, that's right. He's not here under his own name. Well, whose name is he under, then? I've forgotten. But whatever it is, it's David Bowie, right? I don't know. Now, if you could remember the name when we found out the gentleman was registered, and if it turned out to be Mr. Bowie incognito, well... I'm driving a limo, am I? I saw Mr. Bowie's driver yesterday, and it wasn't you. So he is staying here? I never said that, you little bollocks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that mine? He doesn't know your name, sir. David. Tarquin. I meant he didn't know your alias. I've forgotten that. Where's the other guy, then? Steve, I, I don't know, sir. I was just told to come instead. There's the photographs and the tickets that he wants. I'll see you get some, sir. Thanks. You're the first celebrity I've ever driven. So you didn't have that Dylan in the back of the car the other week, then? Dylan who, sir? Dylan, Dylan. I just want to say I'm a really big fan, and then I'll shut up. Thank you, Tarquin. I really like Tim Machine. And the early stuff, well, it's brilliant. The first album I ever heard of yours was Aladdin Insane. Of course, it was my dad. I was only nine at the time. Thanks for sharing that, Tarquin. Let me get this straight, Steve. You rear-ended this bloke in Latimer Road. It wasn't my fault. His brake lights weren't working. Never mind that. When it happened, did you know the girl was hurt? She sort of pitched forward. Now, wait a minute. Key point here. Did she simply tumble off her seat, or was she hurled head first into the back of yours? Uh, somewhere between the two, I suppose. When you took her home, was she in pain? She didn't say so. Ah! It can be a delayed effect, though. What can? Whiplash. You don't know how serious it is until later. Until he spoke to some rumpole, he tells you how much dust you can make off it. A well-known medical fact, Baz.
Jono, do you really think we need to go to that dinner tonight? Somebody in the studio and I'm shattered. Can it be a 12 shot? Uh, no, I just want to crash. What time's the soundtrack tomorrow? One. One o'clock? Wait me then. Okay. Our girl lives here. How could she afford a spring for a limo? She'd seen this bloke off at the airport. Boyfriend or something. He was the account. Asked me to bring her home. So I went in the car. No, no, two of us look more intimidating. Oh, brief will away under that. Sure, when we talk to her, she'll be reasonable. Miss Nilkin? Yeah. I had x-rays, but they were inconclusive. Of course, the doctor said it's normal with this sort of thing. Is it? My friend Dean suggested acupuncture, but I don't know. They thought of all them needles. Uh, does it interfere with work at all? I can't work. It's out of the question. Why? I'm a dancer. Oh, I didn't put any sugar out. Oh, don't worry yourself. I'll, I'll get it. I've had a lot of success with chiropractors. Of course, I'm no stranger to injury. I was in sports, you see, so I know all the physios. Sports? He played for Chelsea in the 60s. 70s, Steve, 70s. It was a knee injury curtailed my career. Without my man, I'm not sure I'd be walking. Anyhow, I've got his address. Wouldn't hurt to give him a call. Well, it might, but it might be worth it in the long run. Look, it's very nice of you, but... What? Look, I'm not sure I should even be talking to you, Mr. Levick. My solicitor... Lisa, please, please. Lisa, the only reason I'm here is my concern about your health. I don't want to get involved in the legalities of the situation. We both know the only people who get rich from a thing like this are the lawyers. I suppose so. But it all comes off the insurance, doesn't it? Selfridge is tarpin after you dropped off Mr. Bowie. Don't tell me the traffic's a nightmare. I hear that a hundred times a day. Samuels? Yes. And? For anything which occur between the expiration of the policy and its reinstatement, they are not liable. Oh, bastards can always find a loophole. It wasn't a loophole. You hadn't paid the premium. That's a technicality. My entire fleet's insured with these people. Do you know what that amounts to? I do, Van, yes. Hello, Ivrid. Yes, Tarquin. What? What? Tarquin's lost his limo. Do me a favor, Grace. And David Bowie's in it. Oh. I've taken care of it. It's your client I'm concerned with. Isn't he back at his hotel? No, he's not. I checked. He's not registered under his own name, you know. He isn't? No, he's under a, what you call, a, a pseudonym. Only I've forgotten what it is. Well, let's hope that's it, then. I had nightmares about this on the way over. I saw this tow truck on the move. Mr. Barry wakes up, steps out and breaks both legs in Oxford Street. Jesus! I've already got one lawsuit pending. 
What were you thinking of? If I'd gone to Selfridges after the hotel, they might have closed. As I was passing and he was asleep. How long have you worked for me? A few weeks. Long enough to know. Long enough to know. You always put the client first. Didn't I drum this into you? And this is not some one-off. This is not some proud new dad splashing out on the baby's first ride home. This is international rock star with all that implies. Well, we don't seem to have scratched the paintwork. It's amazing, because they don't worry. And a ticket on top of the fine hatch. Diabolical, that is. He's still here, Bat. What? He slipped through all that. He's not on anything, is he? No. No, he was shattered up all night in the studio. We might just get away with this. Off you go. Drive carefully. Well, isn't he going to wonder why it took him three hours to get from Wembley to St. James's? First water main in Cricklewood. You're a superb specimen of woman, Otessa. Strong, supple, sensuous. What do you want, Dal? It's Baz. He wants a favour. Oh, I told Baz months ago, and he did this week off. Yeah, big meet next week, right? I saw Palace, yeah. Look, Tess, Tess, he knows that. He said he wouldn't be asking you if he wasn't strapped. He's got some major problem. What? We're not sure. <laughs> Legal, I think, yeah. Look. Anyway, he's off the wheel and Tarquin screwed up, so he's not giving him any more primo rides. When's he want me? You got time for a shower. Tarquin! Oh, hi, Tom. Hi. Hi, Morris. Aren't you going to work? They haven't beat me. It's about the rent. It is about the rent, yes. Jules won't say anything because she's your sister. You got a very amenable arrangement here. I had to pay for my drama class in advance. That was like two weeks' pay. Well, you must get tips. If the people you drive can afford the unnecessary indulgence of riding around in a limousine, presumably they've got enough left over for tips. Well, it varies, Morris. Some do, some don't. They're not giving me the tycoons yet. Back with Bowie, yeah? You better believe it. Take my car, get a bottle of crystal, put it in the back, my compliments. Skinner, when you finish that, give mine the once over. Yes, they appreciate these little touches, celebrities. <laughs> Our ones had the privilege of driving Frank Sinatra. Yes, <clears throat> you said. I'd heard his tipple was bourbon, so I replaced the Scots with Jack Daniels. How was the dinner party? Oh, Gracie, left the food at the car pound, didn't we? Oh, tell me, what did you do? I had to fetch takeaway from a Mongolian barbecue called the Marco Polo in Borenwood High Street. Meanwhile, there's three uniformed plods at the pound dining on duck liver pate and arts of palm. Your solicitor can see you at 12.30. He'll want lunch, I suppose. If you want my advice, you'll settle out of court. With what? The only thing I own is my house, thanks to Tanya's dad, rest his soul. That's a mortgage to the hilt. Every car I've got's on the strap, and the lease is up on this place soon. I mean, there's only so many wheels I can grease. What a prat. What do you mean? I mean, what a prat. Bollocks. Bollocks. You could have blown the account, and David's my man. I just hope I can keep him sweet. Oi, get your hands off! Oi! Flash bastard. Good morning, sir. Would you like a taxi? Uh, oh, no, thanks. I'll have a driver waiting for me. Oh, oh. very good, sir. Mr. Pearson. Yeah. I'm 
Tessa, Ivory Tower. On Garo, cloud nine. Ivory Tower. Hey, Mr. Rogers, if I pay for oh, the yes, executive sir. service, I don't expect stains on my upholstery. Now, right, now have I got this right? Hold on. You can't take it to Sainsbury's at five, but you're there to pick up at six. Okay, I'll do that. I didn't call you in talk. I just thought I'd hang about, you know, on the off chance. Well, you know his system with drivers. He's got an A-list and a B-list. He'd almost made it onto the A-list, but after yesterday, down the bottom of the B. Ivory Tower? Yes, what's the problem? This is yours, isn't it? From yesterday. Oh, right. No, Dal, no, no. You don't want to go anywhere near the North Circular. Hand into Kilburn and cut across. This envelope's for Steve, Grace. I don't know why that dog has such an aversion to me. It's not as if I'm not an animal lover. I have an aquarium at home. I don't wish to speak out of turn, Baz, but... Well, there are rumours about. And, uh... <clears throat> well, I did have my own business once, so I know all the pitfalls. Someone's trying to slap a whiplash suit on me. Oh, that tardy perennial. You had that, did you? Among many others. Mind you, the most peculiar didn't happen in the car. Happened when I were in bed asleep one morning. Some young planet with a double-barrelled name drove his lotus alarm straight through my front fence and demolished half my rockery. And? Well, I were onto the insurance at once, of course. But a week later, I get a counterclaim. The reason for the skid, they alleged, was the dangerous state of the road caused by the overnight rain and the leaves from my copper beach. Well, there's always somebody at it. How difficult is it going to be for her to prove that she's got whiplash? Not the point, boss. Might be up to you to prove she hasn't. Have you got any cigarettes? I've run out. There she goes. Darling, I said, the concrete's... Did you say something? Well, sorry, I was just reading this play for my acting class. Oh. <laughs> How serious are you about this acting, then? Oh, deadly. It's just that I started late, you see. So when are we going to see on the television, then? Not for a while, I shouldn't think. I like that Tom Selleck. Want a car? Who? Oh. Tom Selleck. No, I was just saying I like him. We all like him, Grace. We'd like him a lot more if he took a car for a week. Tarquin. Have you ever done any surveillance? Surveillance? Yeah, you know, tailing someone. Dodging into doorways. Taking advantage of the natural cover. Shouldn't be too hard for you. You're supposed to be an actor. Grace, give him that Nelkin girl's address. He can get round there. He's going to look a bit conspicuous, parked outside her flat all day. That's a very good point. He can take your wheels, Grace. Handicap sticker. Nobody's going to clamp that or move him along, are they? Brilliant! What happens if he's not back by six? It's our bridge night. I'll get you a limo, won't I? Small and grey. That's how England strikes me now. You haven't lost your accent living over there. No way. I'm a hairdresser. I'll play this accent to the max. It's gold dust in my life. Birmingham? They think it's Oxford, darling. So you work in New York? Outside. Got three salons. One in Queens, two in Nassau County. Sweeney Todd's. Going home, are we? Yeah. See me old mum died a couple of months back. I'm sorry. My brothers and me, we've got to sort out the house and stuff. That kind of thing. So, uh, who does your hair then?
You okay? Excuse me? I live across the street. You've been here a long while. Then I see your eyes closed. I think maybe you've been taken ill. No, no, I'm fine, thanks. I was just um, resting the legs. Ah, that's all right then. Bye. This is where I was born. Pretty desperate, isn't it? It's a lot like my street. Now or then? Both. There they are. Brother Les, Brother John. Never know it, but they're thrilled to see me. Yo, bro! Les. Hello, oh, Gary. What's that? It's a car, Les. Does it have to be that big? It does, yes. To carry all the presents I brought for your wives and your kids. We'd uh, best get in the house. Come on in and have a cup of tea, Tessa. Uh, no, thanks. I think I'll stay with the car. Oh, I would too these days. Come on. I'll take us. <laughs> Mr. Smart, how are you? Great to see you. So she never once took the bloody thing off. Well, she wouldn't, would she? If she went out with it on, she wouldn't take it off, not with it already on. Well, if I was in extreme discomfort, I wouldn't go to Whiteley's, not up and down all those escalators. How did she walk? Was she sprightly? Was there a spring in her step? Not especially. Did she show any evidence of pain? I never saw her win, no. She's at it, isn't she? I can't honestly say she is, Bess. Come in. Never been in your inner sanctum before, Bess. Some happy memories in here. Is this you with your, uh... Chelsea, yeah. Osgood, Chopper Harris, Charlie Cook, Alan Hudson. Oh, I had a taste, Tarquin. It was a magic time. And Tanya, my wife, she was runner-up to Miss TV Times. Nationwide, you know. Oh, yeah. What I'm saying is, we were kind of a glamorous couple. Got invited a lot of places, like Bobby Moore and Tina. Gary and Michelle. In our day, in a way, yes. Then we went to the States. A lot of us did in the autumn of our careers. Mind you, I was only 24. But I felt I had a better shot there. I signed for the Tampa Bay Rowdies. I'll never forget the day we arrived. My agent's at the airport. He's standing there in his Ferragamo shoes and his ostrich skin file effects. And behind him, the biggest limo you have ever seen. A full stretch white Cadillac Eldorado. I've never smoked opium, but I can't imagine a better sense of well being than sitting in the back of one of them, watching all that Florida blue sky and palm trees floating by. Grace said you were injured. Yeah, got my knee done in by some Yugoslav hatchet man played for the Cosmos. That was that. But you never forgot that limo, eh? That's very true, Tarquin, because to me, limo equals glamour. So, in my own vicarious way, I am attached to the glamour business. Or I am, until Miss Lisa Nelkin's lawyers put me out of it. Is that her name? <laughs> Nelkin, yeah. No, Lisa. So what? Hang on. Mr. Bowie gave me some tickets for Steve. And a signed picture for his friend. Her name's Lisa.
No, sorry, we've nothing available. All five cars are out tonight. Yeah, cheers. Geoffrey, I know you only work nights, but we do get inquiries. A little telephone manner wouldn't hurt. And it wouldn't hurt to paint a broader picture. Our entire fleet is operational at the present time. Yes? Do you think it'll make a difference? Right. Where are we going? Have to have one of the White Hart, haven't we? Got to. The White Hart? Oh, this lovely car's wasted on that lot. It's a point, isn't it? So that lot can see the thing. Les, I don't have to prove myself in front of those tossers down there. So why are we going? Because some of those tossers are my mates. Used to be, anyway. You won't be welcome. They won't appreciate you gliding up in all this. See, that's the difference between America and here. Over there, if you've got it, if you make something of yourself, people are happy for you. They really are. They say, great, fantastic. Over here, they can't wait to tear you down. No, it's not that. There's a lot of people having to do without round here. Us included, since he was laid off. He knows that, Pam. Then why does he need his share of your mother's house? Is that what's bothering you, Pam? Get out of order, love. He's entitled. Oh, sorry, I spoke then. No, oh, no, speak your mind. The family, right? Mm. It's all such nonsense, Gary. I mean, your flight, the trip. This car would cover our nut for six months. Had to come, didn't I? Well, you weren't here when it counted. It was us that had to do all the nursing. <laughs> well, I couldn't, could I? I was trying to run a business. Oh. I'm dealing with a divorce. Mm. Well, are we going on or what? Of course we are. It isn't every night, is it? Look. Tessa, straight on out of the car park and then hang a left at the second stop bars. Oh, champagne! Oh, look! Mm. Oh. Bed. Oh, no, no, darling. Night, darling. Night. It's in the morning. Night, darling. Night, darling. Sleep tight. <clears throat> You tell me when something's wrong, Bez. We could have cancelled last night. I would have understood. Why don't you share your problems, eh? I was hoping it would all blow over. <sighs> Never did like that, Steve. A lot of attitude, I thought. Really? Mm. He's been one of my best drivers. Never thought he'd do this to me. Of course, they all do in the end. Well, if this Lisa is his girlfriend, you don't let it stop there, Baz. You haul them through court. No, I can't flag this. I've got to be very low-key. Well, why, for heaven's sake? Never mind. Oh, Baz, tell me. Well, I wasn't insured for a couple of weeks. What? It was an oversight. But if it comes out, they'll have my licence. Oh, how are you going to handle it? Copy a bit slippery, haven't I? Oh, what's the problem, Tessa? I'm uh, not going to be back tonight. Well, you better be back by tomorrow. I need all the cars for the Bowie gig. I was doing you a favour, Baz. I'm supposed to be in training. Anyway, now this guy wants to stay the night. Lucky you. Overtime. Double bubble. Buy yourself a toothbrush and pick a nice hotel. Wish it was me. <coughs> now what? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I know how Diane Keaton felt, being married to that Michael Corleone. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Ta. Fancy a drink? You've earned it. No, thanks. Look, Tessie, you're a drop-dead stunner. You must be aware of it. And I'd be an idiot not to notice. But it's not about that. It's been a savage evening. I just want to talk. OK? OK. Families. They're impossible. Did it get worse in the pub? Didn't get any better. Pam, that's Leslie's wife. She goes on about how I've never asked them out there. So I told her, I said, the last time I come over here for young John's wedding, 
I brought my wife, and you treated her like dirt. Karen, she's a tough New Yorker. She could handle it. But, you know, it wasn't necessary. You're divorced now. I overheard in the car. Couldn't help it. Yeah. Two kids. See them twice a month. If you don't mind me saying so. No, it's none of my business. No, oh, go on. Well. well, I think the limo was a mistake. Flash from their point of view? I am Flash. I'm not a nondescript person. Just wanted to give them a good time. Same with the meal. I'm by nature a giver. But I get really pissed off when they assume I should give them my share of Mum's house. Well, I suppose in the end you should do whatever makes you most comfortable with yourself. Yeah, I suppose I should. What time do you want to be up in the morning? Not before 10. Jet lag's kicking in. Just so I know, it's just that I'd like to go for a run. Jog, do you? No, I run. Sorry? You, you mean serious life? Mm-hmm. 400 metres. The 96 Olympics in Atlanta? That's my goal. Well, I wish you every success. And if you do crack it, I hope your family's more thrilled about it than mine. Nice sheet from yesterday, Grace. Wine merchant, 65 quid? Crystal champagne. Compliments of ivory tower. Let's smooth things over, Steve. Yeah, David's cool. No. What is something for you, an envelope? Did you get it? Oh, that was from David. Uh, tickets for the show tonight. You can't go, you're driving him. I gave them to some friends. As long as they're not wasted. Oh. How many cars we got going to the concert, Gracie? Steve plus three. Make sure Tarquin gets a ride. Oh, right. Well, Tarquin can take Normans. Norman can take... Did I hear my name? Hello, Norman. <coughs> Quiet, muscles. I did have a Wembley, but I'm doing a switch. Oh, why is it always me? Mr. and Mrs. Turtle Taub, not Torb. A trip they've always promised themselves ever since his prostate surgery. Glad born tonight, Stratford, Bath. Dream clients, Norman. By the end of the week, they'll probably adopt you. Oh. Thank you, Grace. And all the time, this geezer she's with is like giving her the business to you know? <laughs> You two talk with. The motto of this company is privacy on wheels. You obviously need reminding of this, Daryl. No, it was just. Uh... No, no, no. You were abusing your position as a driver for Ivory Tower. I don't care who we've got in the back of our cars, whether it's Colonel Gaddafi or the meddling cartel, and I don't much mind what they get up to as long as it's nothing to do with sheep. Privacy on wheels is the privilege they pay for. Sorry, Matt. Nice. You haven't forgot the seat numbers, have you? No, R26 room G2122. You'll need this. Where's uh, Steve? Hospitality room playing celebrity ping pong with the rest of the day. Yeah. Same Lisa. Bosh! Got him! 
Would you believe looking at her, she was such a wicked little trollop? I bet Bowie never got that champagne. They probably drank it together celebrating their little scam. I'm gonna sort this out with Steve right now. Hang on, boss. What if he says he gave her the tickets because he felt sorry for her? She was his ride. She got hurt in his car. Nah, no, I'm not buying that. She's still wearing the neck brace. She is. Ivory Tower. Yeah. Are you Mr. Barry? All right. What exactly are we headed, sir? Find the M25, I'll let you know. Hi. Am I in the right place? Is this for the David Bowie video? Yeah, that's right. Come through. And you are? Lisa Nelkin. Right. I'm Natasha. I'm the one who phoned you. This is Tarquin, our director. Hi! I'm sorry it's such short notice, and we've got to squeeze the shoot in between David's tour dates. Oh, no, that's fine. I was, um, just wondering how you knew about me, that's all. Doesn't David know a friend of Lisa's? Steve, somebody? Oh, Steve, yeah. Well, he never said anything. Do you mind doing something for us? Yeah, sure. Fantastic. This isn't the track we'll be using, but it'll give us a general idea. Must have been to see my man. He's a marvel, is. You bastard. <laughs> Steve? Yeah. Mr. Berry, please. Okay. Mr. Berry, it's for you. friend of your bosses. Back in the 80s boom, when Baz had a lot of Middle East trade, he used to want a bodyguard with a limo. That's what I used to do. That's what I'm good at. That's why my friends call me Betty the Hatchet. I'm taking the car back to London. That was your governor on the phone. You're fired. What airline are you on, sir? American. Very formal society, I said. It goes with the job. Did you try this morning? Every morning. 
Did you sort your stuff out? Rang my brothers last night. Told them the house is yours, wasn't a part of it. That was nice. Yeah, well. At least it's not like you can't afford it. <laughs> Couldn't be more wrong, girl. Business is on the skids. I'll be lucky to avoid Chapter 11. What's that? Bankruptcy. Broke? You? Yeah, really have done with that money. Then why didn't you tell them? I'm the one who got out, remember? I'm the one who cracked it. I'm the one with the convertible Corvette. I'm the one who sends them postcards from Florida Cays when I go marlin fishing. I don't want to shatter their illusions, do I? I'm sorry. Oh, well, I'll turn it around somehow. I've got a few other irons in the fire. I'll be in Atlanta, you know. When? When you're in the Olympics. I'll do your hair. Uh, you got to look your best when you're standing on that rostrum, haven't you? She's giving it plenty, isn't she? Oh, we must convince you take the bait. Well, we got something in common, her and me. I'm an actor, she's a dancer, but it's the same mentality. You kill for the job. Yeah. That's a trouble running a company like this. All my drivers want to be something else. Ivory Tower? Can't say I'll blame you for it. I was something else once. There's pictures on the wall now. I am serious about this job, though, Bez. Don't you worry, son. As of today, you are officially on my A-list. <laughs> What's happening, Tark? Oh, good Daryl. We give him Bowie again for the rest of his stay. No shit. Where's Steve? Uh, no one knows. He hasn't called in. You're welcome to your rock and rollers. I've had my fill of them in the past. Found some unspeakable things in the car the next morning. Well, I thought you liked show business, Norman. Oh, the showbiz and the showbiz, Daryl. I once had the privilege of driving Mr. Frank Sinatra. Now, there's a different kettle of fish. He only drove him from the Albert Hall to the Inn on the Park. Long enough to know the kind of man he is. <laughs> I know the rumors. In my view, he's a prince among men. When I dropped him, he said to me, Norman, he said, Thank you. And you give me this. I had no intention of spending it, of course. I had him autographed at the bottom left-hand corner. I've had that memento ever since. Well, let's have a look. Oh, no! Sorry, no. And there'll be more comedy from Full Stretch next Tuesday at the same time.